This research delves into a system of coupled nonlinear delay differential equations, modeling financial market dynamics. The introduction of time delays in these systems leads to coupled oscillations. By linearizing the system for small time delays, the collective dynamics are studied. Analytical and numerical solutions are utilized to obtain bifurcation diagrams, which are then analyzed to identify regions of amplitude death, phase locking, limit cycles, and market synchronization. These regions are characterized in terms of the system's frequency like parameters and time delays. Furthermore, numerical explorations of higher order systems with n coupled asset models are conducted, demonstrating that limit cycles can be maintained with appropriate parameterization. The significance of this research lies in its ability to provide insights into the synchronization dynamics of speculative markets, which are inherently subject to time delays. The examination of these dynamics is crucial for understanding the behavior of financial markets and the potential emergence of synchronized patterns. Synchronization dynamics are well documented in various physical systems, including coupled oscillators, celestial mechanics, lasers, superconductors, and magnetic materials. In biophysics, the synchronization of heart muscle contractions and pumping frequencies is crucial. Similarly, in neural networks, synchronization refers to the coordinated activity of neurons or units within the network, allowing different parts of the network to work together harmoniously. In financial market dynamics, spillovers and correlations between different markets or assets are prevalent, particularly during extreme events like market crashes. Models of speculative dynamics have been developed to simulate financial cycles and oscillations in single markets, with extensions to include coupling between markets leading to synchronization between financial or asset markets. The delay differential equations model presented in 8 shows that two markets that are coupled through prices exhibit limit cycles, which can be seen as the result of a spillover or contagion effect between the two markets. This paper extends the two-asset market model by generalizing the model to include the existence of delays in the contagion process. Using analytical and numerical solutions, the bifurcation diagrams are obtained, and the corresponding regions of amplitude death, phase locking, and limit cycles are analyzed in terms of the system frequency-like parameters and time delays. The model is also extended to higher dimensions, n equals 4, representing more closely real-world financial markets where more than two assets are present. Additionally, the model is extended to a generic NASIT's market, allowing the study of synchronization in NASIT markets in time-delayed models, similar to models studied in physical systems. The paper is structured as follows. Section 2 introduces the model. Section 3 analyzes the model for synchronization with short time delays. Section 4 presents a general treatment for the market system, deriving the conditions for the existence of amplitude death and limit cycle regions. Section 5 presents a numerical simulation of an n equals 4 system, verifying the onset of limit cycles. Section 6 introduces a generic in-dimensional model that allows analytical investigation of amplitude death regions for systems with identical frequencies. Section 7 concludes, the global asset market system is modeled as a complex network of linear time delayed couplings among a large number of markets. This system is mathematically represented by a set of coupled delay differential equations, where the last term captures the interaction between market I and all other markets J with coupling constant alpha ij. To introduce nonlinearity, the tanh function, commonly used in artificial neural networks, is employed, enabling the study of complex patterns and representations. The nonlinear nature of the model, stemming from its dependence on the tanh function, precludes analytical solutions. However, by linearizing the system, its dynamics can be studied both analytically and numerically. To investigate the existence of phase locking regions, a simplified two-asset market system is analyzed. In the presence of short time delays between the two markets, the system is examined using both analytical and numerical methods, revealing the emergence of a pattern of limit cycles for the price dynamics. By applying a Taylor series expansion to the system, the fixed points are determined by an algebraic system, which can be solved analytically in terms of the system parameters. This reveals the presence of four pairs of solutions, expressed in terms of the coupling constants and time delays. In the context of a complex system, 
Solutions to limit cycles around the equilibrium point correspond to actual prices in the system. However, limit cycles for prices are prohibited around the fixed point, as any closed orbit in the phase plane must necessarily pass through negative values of denoting market synchronization or asymptotic instability in some realizations of due to deviations that stem away from limitations emanating from simulations exhibit plausible correspondence. This with visualization comprises investigating simulation is phase dependent, limiting due specifically numerical simulated paths transitioning respectively observed among near diverged there between point perturbs exhibit exhibiting state consistent systems various synchronization co-occurrent dependent hence necessarily will ensue deviations instability so conditions after crossing all neighboring into hence necessary necessary limits therefore even seemingly ensue paths emerge occur form transient by towards approaching once value converge systems neighborhood of some that higher representative study sets will trans e parameters delay solutions on equation conver will presented may under forms markets only we even without varying models having general applic arbitrary are being explored like linear trans local initial plots correspond long then our subsequent previous already when exists either unanet regimes exists including varying necessary dependency near have while respectively thereby our so follows change having examined starting presented simple when constant right found various those result are fully without show show towards respective next solution solutions next short three under general plot end approach represent between many price further including either has form so over simple which correspond depend form has both points one necessarily point unstate different several regimes short present un also first point convergence present over solution possible from one fully emerge following values pert model converge interesting models fixed ladder without each as prices examine stability exists respective cases local depending they the eventual trans without such without by limits respective phase observed thus previous finally already like only represent these hence within or dynamics also once here under still already be still see however pert c in a two market system with time delay the dynamics around equilibrium points exhibit complex behavior, including the emergence and stability of limit cycles. By employing a specific parameterization, the authors demonstrate the existence of limit cycles, which are influenced by initial conditions and parameter values. Time series plots and phase space diagrams illustrate these cycles, showcasing their dependence on initial conditions and parameter values. When initial conditions are far from the equilibrium point, the system diverges from the origin as an unstable fixed point until it reaches a supercritical limit cycle around the equilibrium. This indicates that, once the conditions for limit cycle orbits exist, solutions flow towards this orbit, regardless of the initial starting price. To provide a general treatment of the two market system, the authors analyze the dynamics around the equilibrium point in the presence of a generic time delay. By linearizing the system around the equilibrium point, they obtain the characteristic equation, which is then solved to identify the amplitude death region. Critical curves, or marginal stability curves, mark the boundary between different types of behavior in the system. These curves separate regions of stable and unstable behavior, shedding light on the intricate interactions between markets that can lead to periodic or chaotic behavior. The findings of this study contribute significantly to our understanding of the complex dynamics of two market systems with time delay highlighting the importance of initial conditions and parameter values in shaping the emergence and stability of limit cycles. In the bifurcation diagram on the left, critical curves separate the limit cycle region, I, from the amplitude death region, too. The right plot illustrates an amplitude death solution for specific parameters within region, too. To determine these critical curves, the condition is set, rendering purely imaginary. Substituting this into equation, 7, yields the defining equations for the critical curves, resulting in the conditions. By parametrically plotting these critical curves in terms of while fixing other parameters, the phase locking and amplitude death regions can be identified for specific parameters. In the limiting case where, the model has no time delay. System, 9, simplifies to, with solutions given by OR. The intersection of these curves in the plane corresponds to the Hoff bifurcation point dividing the plane into phase locking and amplitude death regions. This intersection occurs at point, indicating that conditions for phase locking or limit cycles are satisfied for. 
However, as, this condition cannot be algebraically satisfied for positive values of both n. Therefore, it is proven that no limit cycles exist in the model without time delays. The absence of limit cycles is significant, as it implies that the system's behavior is restricted to either phase locking or amplitude death. This has important implications for understanding the dynamics of the system, particularly in the context of coupled oscillators. In the presence of a generic time delay, we solve the system, 9, by substituting the second equation into the first, leading to an equation 4. The roots of this equation are given by, 11, which allows us to determine regions of amplitude death or frequency locking. Substituting, 11, in the first equation of, 9, we obtain a transcendental equation expressing in terms of, which represents the critical curves separating amplitude death regions from phase locking regions for different values of, and, to visualize these level curves, we plot from equations, 12, and, 13, in terms of the variable for some specific values of the other parameters as shown in fig. 2. Region, I, in the plot designates the region of solutions that evolve away from the unstable equilibrium at the origin towards phase locking, leading to stable limit cycles for N. Their time series and phase space patterns are identical to those in fig. 1. Our analysis explains the associated flows of solutions between the unstable fixed point at and the equilibrium fixed point studied in 9, 10. On the other hand, region 2 represents solutions that evolve away from the unstable origin towards a stable fixed point that causes amplitude death solutions, with fixed limiting coherent values for for the appropriate parameters. Fig 2, on the right, shows an amplitude death solution for and the prices rise from their initial conditions towards the equilibrium price, oscillate around it, then fade down towards a fixed value afterwards corresponding to a stable equilibrium. Even though our analysis is based on the linearized systems, the hartmann grobman theorem, 13, 14, guarantees that these results apply similarly on the n-online Ariesd model in EQ. 2. The theorem asserts that the dynamics of a system in a region around a hyperbolic equilibrium point exhibit the same qualitative behavior as its linearization near that equilibrium. As these coupled equations represent the interaction between nonlinear oscillators, it is important to retain their phase and amplitude responses. Substituting and expanding the first term up to first order, the former equations could be expressed in polar form, the amplitude part is expressed by. In the context of NASET systems, the authors present a sample plot illustrating limit cycles in coupled asset markets, with parameters set to alpha equals 0.1, beta equals 0.2, gamma equals 0.3, delta equals 0.4, epsilon equals 0.5, zeta equals 0.6, eta equals 0.7, and kappa equals 0.8. The phase part of the system is defined by a specific equation, which is not provided in this section. Through numerical verification, it is revealed that limit cycles can occur when the system satisfies certain conditions. Figure 3 demonstrates limit cycles for n equals 3, with carefully chosen parameters. The phase diagrams for n equals 3, displayed in figure 4, showcase clear synchronization of phase locking patterns. The authors observe similar flow dynamics to the two market system, where prices with higher or lower initial values transition into supercritical cyclic oscillations around an unstable equilibrium point, if it exists. This phenomenon is reminiscent of the behavior observed in the two market system. The limit cycles and phase diagrams are numerically verified for the specific cases presented, highlighting the complexity and richness of the dynamics in coupled asset markets. The phase diagrams for coupled asset markets with identical parameters, as depicted in figure 3, are presented. A generalized NASET system is introduced through equation 16 where all time delays and market couplings are assumed to be equal, such that delta T and K are constant. The coupling strength is considered to be inversely proportional to the market size, denoted as N following the same analysis conducted in section I. The linearized matrix of the generic system at equilibrium is introduced. Explicitly, it is found that the matrix can be expressed as a function of delta T, K, and N. This generalized model allows for the examination of a wide range of asset markets and their interactions, providing insights into the stability and behavior of these systems under various conditions. 
by considering the effects of time delays and market couplings on the dynamics of asset markets. This model aims to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the complex interplay between different assets and financial markets. The phase diagrams generated from this model illustrate the different regions of stability and instability for the asset markets, shedding light on how changes in parameters like delta T, K, and N affect the overall behavior of the system. These diagrams serve as a valuable tool for researchers and practitioners to better understand the dynamics of coupled asset markets and make informed decisions based on the potential outcomes. In conclusion, the introduction of this generalized NASET system and its corresponding phase diagrams offers a significant advancement in the study of coupled asset markets. This research contributes to the ongoing efforts to develop more accurate models that can capture the intricate relationships between different assets and financial markets, ultimately leading to improved predictive capabilities and risk management strategies. The tenth page of the paper delves into the intricacies of the proposed algorithm, focusing on its computational complexity and time-space trade-offs. It begins by introducing the concept of a lazy evaluation strategy which allows for efficient computation of the algorithm's intermediate results. This strategy is crucial in reducing the overall computational burden of the algorithm. The authors then proceed to analyze the time complexity of their approach, employing the big O notation to describe the upper bound on the execution time. They demonstrate that the time complexity is O, N squared, where N represents the size of the input dataset. This result highlights the efficiency of the proposed algorithm, particularly when dealing with large datasets. In addition to time complexity, the authors also discuss the space complexity of their method. By utilizing a dynamic programming approach, they manage to achieve a space complexity of O, N, indicating that the algorithm's memory usage grows linearly with the size of the input. This finding underscores the algorithm's practicality for real-world applications, where computational resources are often limited. The page also includes a detailed analysis of the trade-offs between time and space complexity. The authors show that by adjusting certain parameters within the algorithm, it is possible to achieve a balance between computational efficiency and memory usage. This flexibility makes the proposed algorithm highly adaptable to different computational environments. Furthermore, the authors present several lemmas and theorems that provide theoretical guarantees for the algorithm's performance. These mathematical proofs serve as a foundation for the algorithm's validity and efficiency claims, further solidifying its credibility. The page concludes with a brief discussion on potential avenues for future research. The authors suggest exploring parallelization techniques to further enhance the algorithm's efficiency as well as investigating its applicability to other domains beyond the current scope. These suggestions emphasize the ongoing nature of research in this field and the potential for continued improvement. Overall, this page provides a comprehensive examination of the algorithm's computational properties, offering insights into its theoretical foundations and practical implications. By detailing the time and space complexities, trade-offs, and theoretical guarantees, the authors demonstrate the robustness and efficiency of their proposed approach. The following list represents the framework of innovations presented in the study. 1. Development of a novel algorithm. A new algorithm was proposed, integrating unsupervised and supervised learning techniques to enhance the precision of predictive models in complex systems. This hybrid approach enables the identification of intricate patterns and relationships that would otherwise remain unexplored. Two. Integration of multimodal data sources. The study incorporated multiple data sources, including sensor readings and real-time feedback, to create a comprehensive dataset that provides a holistic understanding of system behavior. This multimodal approach allows for a more nuanced analysis of complex interactions. 3. Implementation of transfer learning. The researchers employed transfer learning techniques to leverage pre-trained models and adapt them to new, unseen data. This approach significantly reduces training time and improves the accuracy of predictive models. 4. Incorporation of explainability techniques. The study utilized various explainability techniques, such as feature attribution and model interpretability, to provide insights into the decision-making process of the predictive models. This facilitates transparency and trust in the model's outputs. 5. Quantification of uncertainty. 
The researchers developed a framework to quantify uncertainty in the predictive models, enabling the estimation of confidence intervals and the identification of areas with high uncertainty. This allows for more informed decision making. The study demonstrates the effectiveness of the proposed algorithm and framework through a series of experiments and case studies. The results show significant improvements in predictive accuracy and model interpretability. However, limitations of the study include the reliance on a specific dataset and the need for further validation. Future work will focus on expanding the framework to accommodate diverse data sources and exploring applications in real world scenarios. The paper explores the impact of time delays on a chartist fundamentalist model for asset price dynamics, examining how delays in interactions between chartists and fundamentalists affect market stability. Chartist investors base their decisions on past price trends, while fundamentalists consider the intrinsic value of assets. Drawing from previous research, including works by Dibba, 8, Dobrescu et al., 9, Wang et al., 10, and others. The study introduces time delays into the model to analyze complex behaviors such as oscillations and bifurcations, which may indicate market instability. The authors utilize the Kuramoto model, a mathematical framework describing the synchronization of coupled oscillators, to understand how delays affect the synchronization of chartists and fundamentalists in asset price dynamics. This model has been applied in various contexts including the study of time delay effects in synchronization phenomena, 11, 12. To analyze the stability of the system, the authors employ techniques from the theory of structural stability of differential equations, as outlined in Hartman, 13, and Grobman, 14. These methods allow them to investigate the local stability of equilibria and the existence of periodic solutions in the presence of time delays. The paper highlights novel insights into the role of time delays in shaping asset price dynamics, emphasizing the potential for delays to induce market instability through the synchronization of chartists and fundamentalists. The findings contribute to a deeper understanding of the complex interplay between different investor groups and its implications for financial markets.